It's amazing how we spend so much time being Venus and Mars and just assuming that we're such instead of cutting to the core. When was the last time you actually asked your mate, tell me five things that I can do? Hell, tell me one thing I can do to be better. Give me something to work on to be a better person, to be a better partner to you. Cut to the chase. Find out what things actually make a difference and then find out how to implement those strategies. It's a hell of a lot better than giving up. It's a hell of a lot better than not engaging, hoping and wishing. It's one of the things we say. Let's not hope and wish. Let's plan and execute. Same thing works for your finances. I would actually suggest that, well, again, there are different reasons for this, but let's just take a simple example. Everybody has credit cards. I actually don't. I got rid of credit cards a long time ago, and it always seemed odd to me that people would talk about, I want to protect my credit score, I want to protect my credit score. Well, okay, that's fine, I guess, but last time I checked, there are so many considerations to these 10%, 15%, 20% uh, credit cards that it just seems simpler to me to engage in a life where you pay go and save yourself 20% all day, every day. You have investments. Seems to me that unless your investment is and again, I'm being assumptive here, unless you have an investment that's paying 20% annually, then it's quite efficient to simply pay off your credit card bill in total, right? You can be even more efficient in engaging in tax and pre-tax considerations. So if you actually can identify the hierarchy of interest rates in your life, right? The stock market usually has a rate of return of about 11%, so does your house that appreciates about that same amount every single year, and that's on average, of course. If you have a credit card bill that's 15% annual, well, you'd be better off paying off your credit card bill before you make an extra payment on your mortgage. And by the same token, anything that you can do that's pre-tax actually saves you whatever tax bracket you're in, 20 to 35% at the beginning of the conversation. So you can be efficient in your finances. Who to thunk it? It's not just as simple as saving money, but being smart with where you save your money and how you address it. You know, once again, long-term as well as short-term considerations. Um, are you paying yourself when you get your check? Do you save 5, 10, 20% of your money all day, every day? Pretty simple consideration. But we all know this. We've all heard this before. The question is, are you applying those strategies?